just seven days left to the repeat presidential election and we have some breaking news for you right now. Commissioner Rosalind Akombe of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission has resigned. Commissioner Rosalind Akombe has resigned. We'd just like to read part of that statement right here for you now. And uh, I'll just go to my touch screen. This. And uh, this is the tweet we put out this morning. And Commissioner Rosalind Akombe has resigned. This is the reason she is giving. I'd like to read part of this statement. She says that uh, for many months now, I have questioned my role as a commissioner at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, but I have soldiered on hoping that we could collectively find a way of addressing the crisis facing the country today. I have agonized over the decision to leave my committed IBC field staff and my country. My decision to leave the IBC will disappoint some of you, but it's not for lack of trying. I have tried the best I could do given the circumstances. Sometimes you walk away, especially when potentially lives are at stake. The commission has become party to the current crisis. The commission is under siege. It has become increasingly difficult to continue attending plenary meetings where commissioners come ready to vote during the partisan lines and not to discuss the merit of issues before them. It has become increasingly difficult to appear on television to defend positions I disagree with in the name of collective responsibility. I have concluded that I am no longer making any significant contribution to the commission and to my country as a commissioner. It broke my heart in the last few days to listen to my staff in the field, majority of whom truly want to do the right thing, express to me their safety and security concerns. I share details, we are report, detailed report with the staff in four of the counties most hit by the ongoing protests, that is Nairobi, Siaya, Kisumu, and Homa Bay, with the hope that this will bring sobriety in our decision making interest. This was met with more extremist responses from the commissioners who are keen to have an election, even if it's at the cost of lives and our staff and voters. It's unacceptable for any party to disrupt, attack and injure our staff in Mumias, Bungoma, Homa Bay, Siaya and Kisumu as they did. These acts must be condemned by all and the action taken against the perpetrators. Now the statement continues to say that I acknowledge that the Supreme Court gave orders to organize presidential election within 60 days. The current political condition did not exist on the 1st of September when the order was issued. It will therefore have been logical for the commission to be frank to Kenyan people and clearly giving a free, fair and credible election. It's critical that all political actors and commissioners take a pause to review where we are leading this country. It's not too late to save our country from this crisis. We need just a few men and women of integrity to stand up and say that we cannot proceed with the election on the 26th of October 2017 as currently planned. We need the commission to be courageous and speak out this that this election as planned cannot meet the expectations of a credible election, not when the staff are getting last minute instructions on changes in technology and electronic transmission of results, not when uh, in parts of the country the training of uh, presiding officers is being rushed for fear of attacks for protesters, and not when the commission and staff are intimidated by political actors and protesters and fear for their lives. Not when senior secretariat staff and commissioners are serving partisan political interests. Not when commissioner is uh, saddled with endless legal cases in courts and losing most of them. Not when legal advice is skewed to fit partisan political interests. The commission in its current state can surely not guarantee a credible election on the 26th of October 2017. I do not want to be party to such mockery to electoral integrity. Our people are resilient, our people are patient. Uh, what we are faced with today is a political crisis that cannot be solved by the Commission alone. Let us solve the political crisis we have at hand and then chart the way forward towards a credible presidential election. The lessons from 2007, 2008 are still fresh lest we forget. As Commissioner Akombe 
who was supposed to be in Dubai to inspect the printing of ballot papers and uh, has decided to escape to the New York where she says that she cannot be part of the commission. As a result, she has sent this statement and this is the breaking news we have for you. More details to follow. We expect the IBC to be reacting to this statement uh, this morning with the exit of commissioners, we also expect legal experts to explain to us the status of the commission and what is likely to happen going forward. But this is the breaking news we have this morning for you. Commissioner Akombe, Rosalind Akombe has resigned as a commissioner of the IBC.